Good morning, everybody. My name's Taylor. Welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today, we're going to be going over the 2022 Navion 24J. I first wanted to point out on the overhead bunk, beautiful windows. Sliding back over here to nice big open windows as well where the sink area is. So when you're washing those dishes, you can enjoy the view as well. We do have a 16 foot LED awning. Unfortunately, it is too windy today to bring it out. We did a little test run and it already had the automatic sensor where a big gust of wind comes in and it automatically rolls in. So that's a nice feature. Here's one of our first bays for some storage. Can fit chairs in there. Going back here, here's our Truma Aquago tankless water heater. Right here is the Cummins 3600. And another bay. Go ahead and close these just so we could see this storage area as well. It is right underneath the bed. So you can also gain access from lifting up the bed, which I'll show you once we get in there. In the back, you could see the backup camera. as well as a nice ladder so you can get on top of the roof. And the roof has two solar panels. Here is our wet bay for your gray tank waste drain, as well as an outside shower. Still has the plastic on it. And this is where you would winterize or summarize this unit. Oops, put it back in there. And then our 30 power shore cord right here for you. You just got to make sure you roll it up nicely. It doesn't have the automatic reel. Here is the black waste tank flush inlet. So you could flush out the black tank. We got a nice storage area right here as well. Perfect. More storage. And you can see the big, beautiful window right here as well. And then this is where our slide is on the driver's side. And we'll go in here so we can pop the hood. This is where you would fill up the diesel tank right here. It's kind of hidden, so that's nice. Covers it up and keeps it locked. We'll go over the inside once we get in there. Oops. Let's see. Oh. Alrighty. So this is a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis on a 3.0 liter six cylinder. 188 horsepower turbo diesel engine. And it has a 7G tonic automatic transmission with a 20, sorry, 220 amp alternator. And it does have hydraulic brakes with LED lights. Whoop. And I did forget to mention back on the hitch, the hitch is a 5,000 pound towing capacity. And 
now let's make our way inside. I did want to point out right here on the floor, we have our battery disconnect as well as the coach battery disconnect and that's where you will use your awning lights, the LED lights, and then also to extend the awning as well. We also do have the coach batteries underneath right here. You have two coach batteries nice and secure right here. Let me latch it back. The latch is a little tricky. There we go, I got it. Perfect. I did just want to show you briefly, this is what it looks like with your slide in. So you, do, you still do have quite some room right here. I can easily walk to the bathroom, the bed, refrigerator, and so forth. And then now we're going to go ahead and bring that slide out. I do have to have my brake and the chassis running. So let's get that started. Alrighty, brake is secure, chassis running, and step it. Alrighty, so definitely a lot more room here. I know this does look a little unusual, but I wanted to configure it into the bed just so you can kind of see. It's very simple and easy to disassemble and reassemble. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. This piece does have Velcro, so it sticks right here. Whoops, upside down. There we go. Well. We have this one goes over here. Tuck that tag in. And then we just, I'll show you the storage too before we get too into it. There's storage on either side right here. Makes it nice to hide things away. As well as under here. Oops, and the last one. Plenty of storage. And then this is actually our table. Just go ahead and slide it out here. There we go. Flip it over. There we go. Perfect. I think I have backwards here actually. This is upside down. We do have three seat belts as well. One's right here. And then you have one right here. You also have the um, child safety anchor latch right there so you can hook up a car seat, no problem. And I'm gonna grab that last cushion. So I had it backwards. This one has the Velcro. There we go. Get the leg of the table. Just latch it on here. Tighten it up. Perfect. And now we have our dining room table. There we go. Perfect. If you also want to add a few more seats, this gives you a little bit of either leg room if you want to kick back, relax while you're watching your TV. So we do have the 32 inch HD TV right here with a sur surround sound. And you got another one right here as well. There are two latches under here that you just squeeze together to easy maneuver them up and down. 
and you can sit on them. So it won't break on you. <laughs> now we can get into the storage over here. We have our nice buttons. So it secures them as you're going down the road so they're not rattling, because that could be very annoying. There we go. And we got our control panel right here for our air conditioning and heater. Sliding on over to our microwave convection oven. As you can see, you can make a lot of goods here. Cake, spaghetti pizza, chicken, whatever your favorite is. This is what it's like inside. You have that nice plate for the convection. I love the stainless steel feature. And of course, we all need a pantry. So I push it in to unlock it pull to release it. Good for cans, pretty much anything. I already know what you're thinking. How are we going to fit the cereal boxes in here? Boom, right there. You got to have cereal when you're camping or breakfast sandwiches. I love breakfast. Anyways, <laughs> here is another big, could be like a closet rack if you'd like, or you can configure it how you'd like. We do have a big drawer down here as well. Sock drawer, put your shoes in here, keep them tucked away. Now over here to our medicine cabinet. Does have the lock as well. The nice little mirror, you can put your toothbrush, toothpaste, mouthwash, all that good stuff in there. Then you do have the little sink, hot or cold, of course. Your switch, the beautiful flying W, Winnebago signature accent, and underneath here, perfect for towels, toilet paper. You gotta think of all those things, of course. We have our switches right here, and into the bathroom. So the bathroom seems kind of small, but it is pretty spacious. I mean, I can fit in here. And the shower as well. It's pretty good. I'm 5'7", if that kind of helps. And this is kind of a showering rack that you can take off, so it doesn't have to be here in your way, just so you can hang up your wet clothes. And then this is the shower kind of curtain, just to keep that water out. And then you have your towel rack holder right here. Then you have the toilet paper holder, your water pump switch, and then your Truma Aqua is right there to turn it on, off, and control the cleaning heat, all that good stuff. Alrighty, and then now for the bed, you do see we have three big more compartments. They are all the same size. I'm not going to grab the last one, so you won't be able to reach it without getting on the bed, but you have a pretty good idea. You have little night lights as well. Perfect, yeah. And then you also have a TV over here in the corner. We'll get a glimpse of that after I lift up this bed. So it kind of gives you more support here, a little bit more comfortability. And then this was the part that I was telling you on the outside. That is the compartment that you can also get to from the inside as well, but plenty of storage. Alrighty, put that back down, then we can show you that TV. Alrighty, going up top here is our solar charge controller, so you can make sure that your solar panels are working properly. As you can tell right now, we have a full battery charge. This is our water pump, so you can check your tank levels. You do have 41 gallons of fresh water and 41 gallons of gray. 
and then 37 gallons of black. Here is the slide, how we did it in and out. And then our controllers for our fridge slash freezer. Pretty decent size fridge and freezer. The shelves can move so you can change them up how you'd like. And then the fridge. Perfect. This is a 12 volt fridge. Alrighty, we have some more storage. Also with our 2000 watt inverter. And then this is where we would start our generator. And then your holding tank heater to turn it on and off. We've got your light switches right here so you can turn on some lights. And then our dual induction or propane stove top. You have three beautiful drawers right here. And then, and three. They're all the same size, so that's nice. They're not deceiving. They're all big. And then for our sink. huge sink so you can rinse and wash on one side beautiful faucet has the spring or the just one hose kind of option put that back to cover it up to give you some more counter space perfect and then here is underneath your sink with a nice little rack right there Close it up. And then we have the ladder right here for our overhead bunk. Just show you how big it is. Still got the plastic on it, so it shows you how new. <laughs> and then you also have your curtains right here, just so you can get some privacy. Just do one side, just so you can kind of see the difference. You do also have little night lights and your own hookups to charge your phone, along with those beautiful windows. And this is just a ladder. That was just the rack, but you also hook it up right here to kind of give you more stability for the kiddos when they're going up there. Perfect. Put it back. Alrighty. Now we will jump in to all of the fun stuff up here. Alrighty. So we do have all the same functions. You have the voice automated so you can make a call, your volume, go to the home button here, navigation, radio, and the media. We also have, this is touchscreen with the navigation and Wi-Fi. And you have the rear camera. You have a heated control powered seats. So these are heated seats. The climate control. You also have cruise control active brake assist, power assist steering, and active lane keeping assist with a rain sensor as well that has the integrated um, wet wiper system. Cool thing too is also you have the crosswind assistance. So if it's really windy and you're kind of holding your steering wheel at a certain angle, it'll just automatically adjust for you. And that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for joining in. If you have any questions or you are interested in this unit, it is available. Go ahead and call me at 970-388-7937. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.